one final thing that we were to take into account it was not really clear how but we were supposed to provide some serial output so we need to put some output here so we can put just we have an idea that the button has been pressed so we can start the simulation and when we press here it, it tells us that the button has been pressed now we can change this and put another line here saying that this cycle has finished and we can put another here if we want, we want to saying that is closing and here so probably this is not neither here and we can start again the simulation and we can see the serial monitor below remember we have this thing about the servo when it's not given any order in the simulation to go to 90 degrees so it will be kind of bothersome that but now it's fully open it it's closing it's fully closed so we press the button and we know that has finished one cycle is going to the other cycle and there you go you have some information in the serial monitor telling what the program is doing along the way of course you can make the statement more nice or more detailed it's up to you i, I just wanted to share some ideas on how this is working